that some people have decided to go into this cooperative plus mode uh, in order to increase agricultural production. So uh, the fascinating topic, right? We're, we're hoping for updates on all of this when we get that critical economic report of the government, which, as he said, is needed so that the average person can understand what's going on. Now, at the other end of the uh, food chain, supermarkets, right, Re retail sales of food, they have proudly opened their first state-controlled supermarket. You can see what, what's going on here is the creation of a state sector, not wiping out the private sector, but supplementing it and uh, competing with it, as, uh, as the uh, people would say. So the state supermarket, I've been in it, it's beautiful, it's clean, it's new, it's shiny, it is well stocked with everything. And I hope my pictures came out. Uh, we'll take a look at that when, as soon as I get a chance. But uh, I had lunch uh, based on what I bought in a the uh, Donetsk People's Republic first opened state supermarket. So a uh, a state sector there, also. Now. Uh, all this with the help of these two institutes in Moscow that we would hope to, uh, to, uh, to determine. Uh, unions. Unions are important. The unions are uh, heavily represented in the parliament. Uh, one, one factor, I think, is, is part of the representation is according to um, economic and social organizations that uh, are, are assigned representation. And the unions are... Uh, represented there. Uh, there is a minimum wage. As he said, it's very low, but it's better than the Kiev minimum wage. So no matter what you might say about the, the insufficiency, as, as Litvinov himself agreed, the insufficient minimum wage in uh, Donetsk People's Republic is still better than the minimum wage in uh, Kiev. Now, a currency reform is underway, and I have, I believe, if my pictures come out, I have a picture of, uh, well, what he called, it's not a monetary uh, unit, he calls it a currency token, valutny uh, znak, the znak, right, a symbol, but I would say token. There's a bit of a problem translating this, because it is something new. Anyway, they have this new monetary uh, symbol, this new currency token. So people out there who are uh, concerned about monetary reform, there's something for you uh, too. So uh, let's also talk about some really fundamental things. In this world of cultural pessimism and historical pessimism, the government in Donetsk has thrown aside Malthus and his odious doctrines, and they have embarked on a policy of population growth, and they say it loud and clear. So according to Litvinov, uh, at the time, at the end of the Soviet Union, the population of the Donetsk Oblast province was about 5 million people, and by the time we got to, say, 2012, 2013, before the big troubles started, uh, it was uh, about 4 million. So Litvinov says, we have to promote population growth. One of the other projects, of course, is to recover the areas of the Donetsk and indeed the Lugansk oblasts, which have been taken over by the fascists, right? In other words, to kick them off the, uh, the territory of the old two uh, oblasts there. But um, that's only the beginning. But in any case, you've got to have population growth. So uh, the word is that the government is going to encourage, obviously encourage family formation, encourage marriage, and encourage uh, procreation. And family values will be backed up by economic um, facilitations, right, to encourage and make possible the population growth. And the target is they would like to see three children per family, three children 
per woman, I guess, would be another way uh, to put it, uh, to, to stimulate. And as I, I pointed out, I said, this is the language of General de Gaulle. General de Gaulle said 100 million Frenchmen. It's called le natalisme, natalism. Um, Abraham Lincoln has elements of it in some little known uh, writings. But the population has to uh, be increased. And he talks in the rigorous scientific category, and this is, this is right from his own uh, lips, expanded reproduction. One of the keys to, uh, to my economics and any, any decent economics is you've got to account for and stimulate the expanded reproduction of society. And that means all the inputs, all the economic inputs that go into making up the uh, standard of living of a population. They reject the social Darwinist struggle for survival. They don't want any part of that. They have an ambitious program which um, will avoid the pitfalls of Malthusianism and neoliberalism. And again, the moment of dirigism, state control, it's a highly regulated approach. Uh, let's see. The currency uh, element is also there. So you get the, uh, the idea of in the middle of this emergency, but taking advantage of the relatively free hand that is there, they're moving in industry, in infrastructure, in the mining sector, in the black earth uh, area. They're promoting machine tool building. You get the idea of a, a comprehensive and ambitious program, which it is our responsibility to support. Back in a minute. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between between you and the IRS, 1-800-425-4610, or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Wall & Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Wall & Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall & Associates, 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary, not a solicitation for legal services. If you constantly feel run down and tired, your pH level might be low and your body could be full of toxins. If what you drink is not at a pH level of 8 or higher, you are inviting bacteria and acid to thrive in your body. But there is something you can do. Simply add 10 drops of AlkaVision Plasma pH drops to your water to help your body rid itself of acidic waste, increase oxygen, and raise your pH balance to optimum levels. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops combine a unique formula of the most alkaline minerals in the world. Alkalizing the water you drink, ridding your body of acidic waste and toxins, and helping you regain energy and vibrant health. And studies show viruses, bacteria, and toxins cannot survive in an alkaline, high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops at AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269-409-1776. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com today. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins, but did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and 
auction your products and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BitBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCA. Welcome back. So we've been giving you a summary of a very important meeting with Boris Alexeyevich Litvinov of the government of the Donetsk People's Republic, the Thomas Jefferson of the country, the guy who stayed up all night drafting it. It was not some gang of thugs, but it was uh, some people who have, I think, very advanced concepts of, uh, of economics and um, in business suits, white shirt and tie to, uh, to quiet the yelping detractors on the side of that Kiev fascist uh, regime. So, um, trade unions getting uh, their due. It's very, very different. So, here's what uh, Litvinov says. What's your message to Obama? He was asked. He said, well, we want a negotiated settlement here. We'll talk about what that might be in just a second. But the negotiated settlement is something you can't have if you've got foreign troops on your territory. And we know now that the U.S. Uh, military is not just in western Ukraine, that Lvov area, but they're all the way to Mariupol and other areas in the far east. There's a recipe for uh, disaster. Uh, but Litvinov says, as long as we have foreign soldiers and foreign weapons being threatened or delivered onto our territory, uh, there's no peace. So tell Obama, um, says Litvinov, tell Obama and his administration, they must give the order to Kiev to stop these military operations, that this Donetsk is not interested in submitting to the diktats of the Brussels Eurocrats and Eurogarchs, but rather inclines towards the Eurasian Economic uh, Union. So, um, that's Litvinov. Now, of course, we met an, any number of other people. One of them is a very uh, experienced uh, police and military police guy. He uh, is uh, part of the uh, Oman tradition, highly trained. O Oman played a big role in preventing a bloodbath Back in 1990, 91, 92, when the Soviet Union broke apart, the Oman essentially kept it uh, as, as peaceful as it could be. It's also the Spetsnaz uh, training. So this then puts the, uh, the longer-term perspective into, uh, into the proper framework. This is uh, Police Commissioner Yuri, uh, veteran of the Berkut, is uh, Berkut the riot police, that they were betrayed, as he said. The uh, Yan Yanukovych refused to give the order to uh, 
to brush aside these armed gangs, fascists with weapons and Molotov cocktails, burning police officers alive, shooting police officers, sniping, uh, as we've heard once in the, in the past, five minutes of gunfire and Maidan fascism would have, would have ended.